Welcome back, everybody. This is episode four of Southern Station, Southern Cross Station. Um, I'm your host, Brightblade. Um, so I was just looking at this. As you see, we're in March right now. We could go into April and still plant this. It just means we're not going to be able to harvest it until until February, which is when we just harvested it now. So it's not really going to hurt nothing. So let's uh, save it. Um, anyway, uh, um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll sleep because then we'll get we'll see what if we're gonna make money off just the wind generator or uh, I think we we will. I mean, we're still not gonna get enough to get the mower, but uh, which is kind of a bum deal, but. Okay, yep, we made uh, $241, so, uh, yeah. So I think as we go, we're going to try and add little things like this to our farm. I mean, that that already puts us, uh, we need 281 So in another five months, so it's March, what, or April, May, June, July, August. So by September, if we make the same amount of money, that thing will already have paid itself off and be making us actual money. So that's not bad. Um, I, I wish this thing. Why did the mark? Oh, I thought the marker went off. Never mind. I tried to work Kind of like last time. Yeah. See, there's no stones in this field, so I'm not going to worry. It. You know, we're not going to pick it. The only problem is this field is so awkward when you save. Um, I'm still waiting. Um, actually, we should check while we're looking. And I'm actually turning the time down. I forgot that I sped it up a little bit to make it to noon, you know, so we can see if we get any new... Uh, I've noticed a lot of times at noon you get more uh, stuff sometimes in the sales, not always. Oh, we're going to check the sales here real quick before uh, we get crazy and start doing our stuff. Okay, so we have... Oh, it's a saddle track. That'd be nice to have. This would be nice to have. That's, I mean, that'd be... A, I mean, if we were going to replace the John Deere right now, that would be nice. That would give us a lot of power. That'd put us up in the same uh, horsepower range as the other one. But, since we're going to be using it for... Uh, we're doing uh, mostly uh, small jobs like uh, hay, like bailing and stuff like that. I think we'll be fine. So I'm I'm thinking probably to keep the prices down, we're going to just do grass over there. So all we'll need is a mower and uh, the trailer, and then. The, the pit for now, you know. Once we start making some money off the silage, which uh, some of these maps, I haven't looked at silage on this map, but uh, it's probably fairly decent. I want to actually uh, get more than two minutes into this map before we uh, the time maps. I mean, we were two minutes in last time. And... Okay, just uh, as I'm rec as I'm getting ready to record this one, I was just I had just finished three. I found a whole bunch of uh, videos that or you know pieces of videos that I wanted. And it took me a while to find a software. I used to have one called 4K Downloader, but. Uh, they wanted you to register it, and I'm too cheap to register it, so. But yeah. So this one's just that I'm using is just a website. Um, I don't have my web browser pulled up right now, or I'll tell you what it was. I'll see if I can put the link in there but it takes forever to download them. But I think what it does is it uh, 
downloads them to the site and then uh, then convert them and send them to you. Because it took me well over an hour to get it. So if you guys know something that's free that I can use, uh, that'd be great. Um, Chiefs of the gate self with death, thank you. I just uh, got a, well, you've already seen it. I got uh, some SpongeBob things in there, you know, like the one hour later type thing. What was in the first episode many hours later? Huh. But yeah, I mean, it's just, I, I just need something better to work with. Like I said, this thing takes forever. It took me forever to get that one. And, uh... thinking about uh, doing something with that other field or making uh, using grass of some sort you know but uh, I do I do record these you know two to three weeks in advance so or well I do two per week and when I had a little bit but uh, I'm gonna we may uh, have more videos per week you know out it just it takes me time to edit them I mean I come home every night and work I spend an hour editing videos and then uh, go and eat supper and uh, wait for and hope it gets done and then I upload it and uh, you know set it for when it's going to upload or when you guys can actually watch it. But so, anyways, we're going to ask this anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up for just doing uh, grass for right now. But, uh, here's the question. Do you guys think I should, uh, invest the money in the game into, uh, into doing, uh, you know, straw, and, or doing, uh, hay? Or do you think we should just, uh, do grass and sell it for the moment, and then do, uh, get a pit down the road and, uh, make silage? If we do hay, we're gonna do both. We're gonna do, you know, like one time we'll do, we'll do grit, you know, we'll do hay, and then the next time we'll do, you know, silage. And then if we feel like it, we can always just do grass, you know, when we're bored. Because I'm thinking about actually getting the grass mower. I want to, I want to, I want to put a few of these away first, like, uh, uh, a few of the bales, I should say. Get a few of them stacked away, and uh, I guess I'm shooting. You know, I'm almost thinking that we don't even need that uh, 
that wagon though. Well, we might need it down the road, so. I was gonna say we could probably sell that thing and uh, make a few bucks, but uh, yeah. I mean, what exactly? I don't wanna. I don't wanna sell it, but I'm just curious. There's nothing new in there. I didn't think there would be. That auger wagon is worth. Man, we could buy both uh, both halves of our lawnmower with that. Hmm. And yeah, it, it it can hold all it can hold seeds, but it can also hold grains. But that's what we had the semi for. You know, we really don't. I don't think there's anything the semi can can't hold that that does. Nope, the semi holds all the same things. Uh, the semi cannot do corn though. It does do sunflowers? Oh yeah, it does corn. What am I thinking? It does. Okay. So. Let's, uh, where's the truck? There it is. Where are we going to go? The garbage night over earlier today and left the door open for a little while while I was doing it. Get up with some flies in the house, they're annoying. Like I said, for right now, we're going to do this this way. Um, but I think we're going to get the piece for the tractor so that we can swap out. And, uh, actually, just because we might do it that way at some point. Put it like that. But I want to see how horrible my skills are. I know better. I know I'm not. I don't have any. I don't have some skills with backing. So. Uh, I'm going to give you guys something to laugh at, I'm assuming. I'm going to get enough, you know, to put a, you know, a small amount in there, and that's all I care about right now. Because this field does not need to be planted until, um, probably, well, if we put oats in there, um, like soybeans don't even plant till October, and, and sorghum don't. Don't go until October, and we're not doing grapes or olives, so, uh, yeah. So I'm going to put this out here somewhere. We're not going to go as far over as we did before. And we're going to... I know this is not going to work well with this with this truck, but we're going to use it to move stuff around for the time being. So, I have watched plenty of people stab uh, bales with this stuff, with the forks, so... I'm gonna be mad if it don't work for me. Um, I wanna. I've seen that they do a lot of the this year, and it seems to work better for them for stopping. Yeah, I overcompensate. And... Yeah, people overcompensate. I'm not going to use that word. Okay. Wait, what? I thought it was low enough. Did I not, uh... Okay, that's better. So we're going to see if we can stack them pretty high, but... I've done this once before, and... I well, the best way is get lined up with them, push the bale a little bit, and straighten up the tires back. <laughs> yeah, I know, really losing point. No, no! So, I'm gonna... Kind of, uh... Tilt my tines a little bit, you know, put some pressure on it. There we go. Yeah, I think we're either going to get the bale stacker or we're going to do, uh, do something different. I, I think if we buy the, if we take that piece over and get the lawnmower, we're going to get the bale stacker because I can see I'm horrible with this. But we're going to try and do one more high and see how that works. 
Maybe be better if we had a headache rack, but uh, not there, but don't. Do this time. I mean, you never know. It may work out just fine. Like that, but and as you can see, I'm too much of a. I don't know why, because I'm not much. You know, I'm not really a perfection kind of person. But for whatever reason, I always try to stuff a little bit to try and get too professional when I play video games. That's why I get upset with some of them and can't do them right. You know, I'm not good at first person shooters because I have to do everything just right in the game or it makes me annoyed. You know, like this is, you know, you don't need so much precision, you know, but I like, that's why I think I like the factory building game because I can uh, do things the way I want, you know, within the I, you know, within the frame of how the game works. Okay. So let's see if we can actually stack these. If we cannot stack these decently, we are going to get the stacker and see how that works, or we'll get a uh, a trailer that picks them up. I think that's probably the trailer that picks them up is probably the better idea. <laughs> okay, that does it. <laughs> okay, so, uh, don't run one. I don't think it turns it like that back on. Maybe I have to, uh, drop it on the computer. Oh, just... We're just gonna stack them like this and not care. It's probably going to cause me more trouble in the long run, but, yeah. Okay. Like I said, this would work a lot better with a headache rack. Because then they'd have something to lean against. No, you don't. Oh, no! With you. <laughs> Dude, they got something to lean against. What am I talking about? Yeah, I don't think this is going to work well for me. I'm going to, uh, this just ain't going to happen. We're going to have to get a stacker. So I am going to, uh, <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. That's one of those three hour later things that I need, you know. Yeah, I've never been good with the uh, the stacking stuff this thing, but when they had in 19 they had that uh the one that was tall, you know, and you'd uh, drive up next to the next bale, drop it on top, pull out, then do the next one. You had that back rack or headache rack or whatever you wish to call it. And uh, I was able to do stuff with it. Oh shoot, what am I doing? I need that stupid trailer. I'm gonna grab that trailer and sell it. As we run over these uh, props. Go get that trailer. I can't believe I forgot that. I just don't. I just don't see any reason to have it if we're not going to use it. Because unless we're, you know, run, you know, it's not like we're on Wild West and uh, the map's so monstrous that we need to have seeds already, you know, in a trailer all the time or something. You know, that's different. You know, which we may do. Uh, you know, if this takes off. 
you know, we'll, uh, we'll do, uh, you know, we'll make do our last. I haven't actually seen, I haven't been on looking to see if there's any comments yet, but, uh, you know, as I'm recording this, I've only actually finished three, and one is on the net right now. So that'll give you kind of an idea of what my, you know, I've been trying to put one out of every, you know, set one up for every week, but, uh, you know, now that I got a few more tools and stuff, it's a little easier to do stuff. Yeah, I just, this thing's so small, I don't see how, you know, other than seed, what usefulness would be. I mean, it does look nice with the, with the giant dealer. So a lot of these uh, spots around the map have their own silos. So as we move around the map and do stuff, we're going to have silos galore. Um, but I think as we do buy them up, we're just going to go through and we're going to get rid of the silos and put the regular silos in where we need them. I mean, we may just put them right on the farm and not carry them. But I definitely want one of the expandable ones where I can put multiple silos in. So I don't think we're going to get the um, everything done today, which is fine, whatever, you know. I think what we're going to do is we're going to buy the lawnmower, we're going to buy the... Uh, the bale picker, and then uh, I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna what we're gonna do. We might have to wait till till June when we sell the the other stuff. And uh, but where do we take this? Right uh, here, I think. I've never actually sold a vehicle on this map. I like now that we can actually see the other vehicles that are sitting there, you know, it's not just the, the one. Oh, let's go ahead and sell that. Okay, yep, that made us $60,000. Um, so, we were going to, um, even though I know there's not anything new, I gotta look. I'm <laughs> weird that way. Uh, more. So I think we were talking about getting these. I mean, that's probably the best bang for the buck. But let's make sure. I want to make sure we can actually afford everything. So we're gonna grab the bail loader first. I mean, I thought about grabbing a stacker. But ooh, that's not it. We don't even have enough just for that. Oh. So what I'm gonna is unless that's not an auto stack I'm looking to see I got to I grab stuff that's auto stack but I don't think I have any uh, is that one auto stack it's not I think what I'll do is uh, between now and uh, the next time I'll look and see if I can find some sort of you know either a bail loader like this it's a little cheaper or we'll look for an auto stacker. Do I have enough time? No, I do not. We're gonna have to do something. Um, you know, we got we've got five months to get that stuff off the field. I'm not worried about it. Let's just go ahead and get the lawnmower, and we'll come up with the extra money later. Buy this. Yes. And we'll go here. Grab that. So that's gonna help us. Um what do we have left? I, I know I don't I know I'm horrible and I just think I gotta spend all my money, but uh, so let's see what we got fifty thousand left. We could get this is okay for uh 
what I'm thinking is this thing is not that wide, but it would do a lot of uh, extra, you know? It's, uh, what is it? It's, uh, yeah, it's low horsepower. It is 8.5 wide where, you know, something like this is uh, 14. You know, but look, and you look at the difference between the two, it's crazy. Yeah, this would be nice. This would be the one that's, uh, this one, it wouldn't create that much horsepower. And that's actually, you know, nine and a half wide, but that ain't much bigger than this. Eight and a half. Let's go ahead and we'll uh, buy this. So we're not going to be able to get everything over at once, so. Because we got to do something, you know, we got to do something here at the time. And... Okay. For whatever reason, that planting went really fast on that field. And we do have, you know, just what, April, so May, June, so in two months, we'll have, uh, we'll be able to, uh, get the other stuff. Okay. Month, make money off the canola. Then the month after that, we can, uh, make money off the wheat. Which, I'm thinking the wheat's gonna be, uh, really good. But I wish this, you know, it doesn't, does it? That is, that's not a, not a curiosity. I'm just going to back up to it, just in case. I don't think it works that way, but, uh, if for some reason we could actually put this baby up, it'd be worth it. And get it all back to the farm in one shot. So, I don't think that's what that is for. So I get the winner to try. Um, no, I don't see that connecting game. So, that's just some sort of bar in the back, so. Oh well, it was worth the try. Now, I, ha I have used this one before, and I kind of like this one. It's, like I said, it's not high horsepower, but, you know, to use, it is a little bit more than, you know, together than what my uh, tractor is. But, you know, no big deal. Only like 10 horsepower difference, so. So we're going to take this over there, and then these items will stay in the storage shed over there. They will not come back to our storage sheds, the main storage sheds. But what we might do at some point, just so that we can actually use the field over there, is we might buy uh, a plow and plow up that field. But I don't know if we're going to or not. I, mean, I kind of like the idea to be able to mow it and call it good. I mean, it does get better yield when you uh, when you have it as an actual field. But we're just doing it, you know, for a little bit of extra. I think we might put that uh, we might at the end of this. Video. I don't think we're going to do a whole lot. We're going to get this over there. Maybe do a time around or something. And I'm just trying to add enough time so that we're... So the video is not 15 minutes long, you know. I'm not even sure we're going to get around the field one. I just hope I didn't spend, waste my money on that rock picker and then find out that this map doesn't have rocks. It did give me the option though to shut it off, so it should be in the I mean I think it's just that cultivator doesn't work, you know, rocks don't show up, but that I've had certain cultivators where you just don't get rocks when you're done a serial. 
crap. Now I've got four feet of Syrian crabs. Yeah, I like my I like my fields a little more open, but uh, this ain't really bad when you think about it. I mean, the fences aren't completely annoying. I've had ones, you know, like some of the some of the English farmlands or whatever, you know, type ones where they're uh, how's that all holding going? I'm holding. Okay, take this. This is something I learned a couple months ago. Somebody showed me this stuff like, really? I didn't know you could do that. So, if you, in other words, instead of just hitting B or B, you use control along with it, it will give you the, um, the full thing. Now, since we do have a wind roar, I'm not going to worry about, uh, you know, setting the rows on this. You know, I can set this so it drops, I think, properly, but, uh, yeah. I'm definitely going to take out a row of trees over here when we, uh, when we do start pissing with the chainsaw and take, you know, clean up farm. I'll probably take out the ones along the river. Swamp or whatever it is. I mean, this is from what I've read. It's supposed to be Louisiana, and we'll take out that tree in the middle of the, the field, obviously. But yeah, I mean, I'm just weird. I like to have a little more uh, wing on the. You know, when I come around, because sometimes if you've been watching, you know, I end it turn a little wide. And like this view, this tree here, obviously, would uh, be removed. It's probably the whole purpose of them being out here, you know, that you get something to go around or remove. But like these big trees on the side, they can stay. They're not even a hassle. Much, as big as this field is, we're probably going to get, you know, 30 bales out of this one as well. I think we got, what we get, 32 out of the hot uh, shot, something like that. But yeah, you know, that's not bad, and, and I don't need to go all the way to the edge of the field. You know, I can move a little bit there. some way to wrap this and then uh, do that, you know. I know I get into these uh, into like a groove and I just want to keep going and going and going. But I, I think we got enough uh, you know, enough film time to uh, not have to worry about it, you know, we can, I can maybe close to 30 minutes, that if I don't get 30 minutes, I'm not going to worry about it, you know. I've been, 
my other video's been closer to, you know, the 35, 38. But, you know. So sometimes I, I'm sorry if I babble on, but, but I just, I run out of things to say, you know, and I'm just not sure what else I can talk about. this next time. I'm probably going to get some of the bales uh, loaded up on the trailer in between. And then we'll start taking them. I think we're just going to use super strength to uh, load up. Because I can't afford, I really can't afford you know, 90000 right now for a, for a bale stacker. So I have a feeling we're going to end up uh, spending that kind of money on a trailer to do this. But I think that's where we're going to end it here. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Uh, if you could, but if you feel like it, please give me a like. Uh, do the, um, ring the bell if you, if you want to see more videos. And uh, you know, follow or whatever it is. I'm, I'm still learning everything again. I'm, uh, YouTube, so I'm sorry if I'm screwing something up, you know, or subscribe, I think, is what it actually is. Alright, so that I will see you guys next time.